Zane Claude Belter, Otters TV, here with Evansville pitcher James Crick. James, thanks for joining us here. It is halfway through the season, a successful season so far for both you and your teammates. Uh, how would you assess your performance uh, out of the bullpen this year so far? Uh, it's been new, new role and uh, long relief, but um, I've had a blast doing it. And uh, having a bullpen full of uh, the guys that we do makes an easy job knowing um, and starters, when you're going in to do a roll and get the job done, the guys in front of you have done their job and the guys in back, in back of you will do uh, their job. And so it's uh, just going out on the mound every night here at Bossy or on the road, um, rain or shine, you know uh, the guys are bringing it and it's been, it's been like I said, a blast and a whole lot of fun this year. So what is the mindset of someone coming out of the bullpen and how is that different from the starting role in terms of how you prepare? Um, depends when you're coming in. Sometimes you get a fresh inning. Uh, other times you're coming in with uh, runners on and sometimes no outs or uh, one out. And so you your name gets called on the walkie and it's really your job um, then uh, to go in and get that guy you're facing and uh, either get out of a jam or uh, keep the momentum going on your side with uh, a starter that's done a great job and you're looking to uh, elongate that and keep uh, keeping the otters in the game. Playing collegiately at the Division II level at Hillsdale, what did you learn there that you're still using every time you make an appearance on the mound for the otters? Um, I'd have to say uh, just because the level has changed and obviously the baseball here is way, way better and more competitive, just staying true to yourself and not trying to do um, anything or act like a pitcher that's in the big leagues or acting like a pitcher that uh, is not you. Uh, it's really important to uh, know what your pitches are, how you like to pitch to guys, and um, sticking with that. And uh, that's, that's usually the best recipe for success. Uh, prior to your signing with the club, had you heard of Evansville? Had you heard of Bossy Field before? Um, I had not heard of Bossy. I uh, heard of Evansville, but I uh, just knew. Um, I thought it was Kentucky, in all honesty. <laughs> uh, but when I got uh, that first phone call with uh, Skip and gave me a bunch of history on um, Bossy and the town, I was like, sounds like a great place to play. And then since I've stepped foot here, uh, I've loved the town, the field, the fans. It's just been phenomenal. What is one unique part of all the ballparks and stadiums that you've played in growing up and up until this point? What is the most unique thing that Bossy Field offers from your perspective? The way that Bossy's built and how deep and how round the stands are, you can really feel the impact um, when the stadium's full. Uh, and the fans are blaring, you really feel it jetting out uh, towards the field where at other parks uh, that can kind of get lost uh, because they're trying to do too much either around uh, the edges or in the outfield. But uh, Bossy, it's, it's definitely top three places, favorite places I've ever played. Um, and I think, uh, I think when we win a championship here in the uh, fall, it'll be, it'll be the best for sure. Speaking of which, if the playoffs started today, at this point in the season, halfway through, the Otters would be one of those three teams from the West Division. So to, how do you and your teammates collectively keep this momentum rolling to ensure that the Otters will be playing post-Labor Day in the postseason? Uh, just remembering uh, who we are and not trying to force uh, anything and can't win a game in the first inning. Uh, just got to win it pitch by pitch, and as long as we stay and uh, keep doing that, I think we will continue to have the success that we've been having this year. He's James Crick. I'm Zane Claude Felter, and this has been Otters TV.